Let's go on to uh, calculate what the eye crack of this section is. And we have the B effect of four times the thickness over 1.2 meters already calculated, 633. And uh, I also have the transformed area of steel. I know the area of steel is 167 millimeters squared per meter. And I also have the end value. Modular ratio is 24. So 24 times 167 is, is the area of steel transformed. 24 times 167. That's going to be 24 times 167. So that comes out to be uh, 4,010 4, millimeters squared. So to find out the uh, neutral axis location, see we take static moments, and we have uh, the width. 633 of, of the masonry face shell, a fact of times some distance c, and then times uh, one half c over two, so that's c squared over two, it has to equal the transformed area of steel, 4,010 millimeters squared, times its distance to the neutral axis, which is going to be this distance, which is, this is 190, the steel is halfway, is mid-centered into the uh, block, so it's at uh, 190 over 2 from the face cell edge, minus C, so 190 over 2 minus C, and then we can calculate what the What the C is the neutral axis location. So we so we have the equation in, and we just solve now for C. C is going to be uh, 28.9 millimeters. And now we can calculate the I effective value, or the I crack. Sorry, I crack is going to be 112 times 633. We're taking inertia about the, the neutral axis for the craft section. 112, 633 times C cubed, 28.9 plus the area of that uh, effective masonry, which is 633 times 28.9 times 28.9 over 2 squared a d squared and then finally the transformed area also has an a d squared component 4010 times 190 over 2 minus c squared 190 over 2 minus 28.9 squared Let's work that out. It's going to be 633 times 20. So that comes out to be 22.6. So that so that comes out to be 22.6 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the fourth per meter, and the EM. I cracked is going to be, we should have it uh, previously worked out right here, 850 F prime M at the E of uh, masonry, 8,333 MPA. So it's going to be 8,333 MPA times 22.6.
188 times 10 to the 9th. Newton millimeters squared per meter. <coughs> so now we can calculate what the uh, the P critical is. And we know that from the code uh, it's pi squared phi phi e e i effective so what we can just calculate right here, this is EI effective and divided by the height squared times 1 plus 0 0.5 beta. So we got pi squared times phi E is for reinforced uh, masonry. Uh, when we're doing the, with the buckling load, we take phi E as 0 0.75 not 0.6, the code says these 0.75. And the EI effective is right here, 188 times 10 to the 9th over the height squared, and it's a 4800 high wall. Times 1 plus 0 0.5 beta. And beta is the uh, moment factored dead load over the moment factored uh, total load. Let's just say for this problem it came out to be 0 0.1. You know, we just have to find out what, isolate the moments dead and total and then ratio it. But let's say it was 0.1. So we can now calculate the P critical in, in Newtons. So we got uh, pi squared 0.57,000. Uh, uh, 600. Approximately 7,600. And uh, then we can c calculate what the the uh, amplification is, and it's really uh, 1 over 1 minus P factored over P critical. So that's going to be 1 over 1 minus the p factored was 11,000 newtons. Divided by 57,600 57, newtons. Comes up to be 1 over 1 minus So we amplify the uh, the factored moment. Uh, no. We take this and we multiply the factored moment by 1.24. Moment factored times 1.24, this value here. Which would be, uh, the moment factored is uh, 4.3 kilonewton meters. times 1.2 amplification factor which is 5.33 kilonewton meters per meter and we already calculated the resistance of the section it's 5.7 which is uh... so this is less than 5.7 the resistance so it's uh... It's adequate, and that's the that's the procedure to follow now for uh, calculating um, uh, moment resistances or moment capacities for axial load and bending on a wall.